These are my best cold climate vegetable seed varieties. Living in Montana, I always have a short growing season. Although I have a large collection of heirloom seeds, many of my favorite varieties just aren't dependable on my climate. This past summer, I only got 80 days to grow my garden between hard freezes. I still grow those for fun, but I dedicate the most of my garden space to this list of dependable short season vegetable varieties. You'll notice that some on this list actually have a days to maturity that's longer than my growing season. While days to maturity can give you a better idea of which seeds will have time to mature in your climate, it definitely varies a lot. If you really want to try growing a particular vegetable variety, don't worry about the listed days to maturity. Just go for it. You might be pleasantly surprised, but if not, you'll know not to grow those seeds again unless you can extend the season a bit. So moving on to my list. Number one is wild garden kale. Wild garden kale is just, well, amazing. Although I confess that kale isn't my favorite veggie, or even close to it, nothing beats kale for cold hardiness. All kale is cold hardy, but wild garden is a little different. It is a Siberian kale, which is actually a different species than most kale varieties on the market. Siberian kale isn't really distinguishable by taste or appearance, but it is definitely hardier. I usually plant wild garden in the spring. I harvest the leaves all summer and fall. In the winter, the kale is usable down to below zero degrees if it's covered. If I don't cover it, the plants will somewhat die back for the winter. But covered or not, the kale will spring to life again in the spring, providing a little more harvest time before it finally goes to seed. Speaking of seed, Siberian kale is unique in that it won't cross with broccoli or cauliflower like European kale. Another win if you want to save seeds. I'm in zone 5A, where temperatures sometimes reach 20 below zero. Pretty cool that kale can survive that. You can buy wild garden kale directly from wild garden seed. Last I checked, Territorial Seed Company was also offering this unique variety. Number two is the Harris Model Parsnip. Parsnips are a fantastic cold hardy crop. Although they take a few months to mature, this resilient root crop can survive negative 20 temperatures with no problem. If you aren't familiar with parsnips, they're a solid white root crop. Parsnips are shaped just like a carrot, although they usually get a bit bigger. They make a healthy potato substitute with a unique but mild flavor. Harris Model is the variety I've been growing and saving seeds from for the past 10 years. I plant mine in late spring and start harvesting in the fall. I dig some up for soup throughout the winter. Anytime the ground thaws enough, carrots rarely survive the winter uncovered in my area, but parsnips do making them a really good way to overwinter a crop out in the garden without taking up valuable space in your fridge or your cold storage. When the weather warms up, parsnips left from the year before will bolt and produce seeds. They're a wonderful choice for a wild garden, reseeding themselves every year if you allow them to. You can find Harris Model Seeds at Fedco. Number three is Winter Density Lettuce. Winter Density is a compact green romaine its thicker leaves make it especially cold hardy. This tough lettuce is great for extending your season and growing in the fall or spring. I actually grow it all summer and find it still pretty good in the heat. You can buy seeds at Fedco. Winter density is an easy variety to save seeds from. If you want to learn how, check out my blog post at katesgarden.com on how to save lettuce seeds. Number four on my list is Blacktail Mountain Watermelon. Developed in northern Idaho, Blacktail Mountain is the number one watermelon for short seasons. The small to mid-sized fruits have a dark green rind and a lighter red or pink interior. Like all open pollinated watermelons, Blacktail Mountain does have seeds. I've been growing Blacktail Mountain for about 10 years. Last year I grew eight different watermelon varieties. In our record short growing season, Blacktail Mountain was the only kind that actually survived and produced some melons. Most seed companies now offer this popular variety. Number five is Jenny Lind Musk Melon. Named after the famous singer, Jenny Lind is a fragrant and flavorful mini musk melon. In my garden, the melons only reach five to six inches across. This is one of the fastest maturing melons you can grow, making it perfect for short season gardening. Number six is Painted Mountain Corn. Painted Mountain is a colorful Indian corn bred here in Montana. The breeder of this super hardy corn mixed together many different Native American corns and then selected the earliest maturing plants. Painted Mountain is one of the most genetically diverse corns in existence. This corn is dependable in marginal climates and is also drought tolerant. It's one of the best cold climate vegetable seeds. 
We use ours for cornmeal. Many seed companies are now offering Painted Mountain, including Fedco and Baker Creek. Number seven is San Marzano Paste Tomato. Although these aren't the earliest producers, San Marzano always gives me the biggest tomato yields of the 20 or more different varieties that I grow. Many years, the plants have survived a late frost and they still bounce back to produce a bumper crop in late summer. Even in the worst gardening years, I still get an average of six pounds per plant from my San Marzanos. The uniform four ounce roots are resistant to blossom and drop. They also ripen very well indoors. The meaty sauce type tomato is fantastic for tomato sauce and for ketchup. You can find San Marzano seeds at Baker Creek. Number eight is Violet Jasper Salad Tomato. Violet Jasper is a beautiful red and green striped salad tomato. This early producer produces boatloads of two ounce fruits. They're great for salads or for fresh eating. I throw any extras into my tomato sauce. I've been growing Violet Jasper since a gardening friend gave me seeds several years ago. They're consistently one of my happiest and most productive varieties, no matter how short the growing season. You can buy seeds at Baker Creek. Number nine is Silvery Fir Tree Slicing Tomato. I've been growing silvery fir tree for at least 10 years, probably longer. The uniform red slicing tomato grows on compact, determinate plants. Silvery fir is great for container gardens and for cold climates, ripening early on the vine. The fruits in my garden have been in the six to eight ounce range. You can find silvery fir tree seeds at Territorial Seed Company. Number 10 is Four Lunch Loss Lettuce. Four Lunch Loss is a unique green romaine streaked with red and purple. It's also known as freckles. I love its fun color for a summer salad, but it also does well in my climate. I sometimes grow 20 or more different lettuce varieties. For years, Four Lunch Loss has been the most dependable. You can find seeds for this fun Austrian and German heirloom at Fedco. Number 11 is Benning's Green Tint Patty Pan Squash. Benning's Green Tint is an early maturing, open pollinated summer squash. The scalloped patty pan fruits are pale blue-green. I actually sold these at the farmer's market several years ago. They're heavy producers. We like Benning's in stir fries and baked with coconut oil. Their slightly nutty flavor goes well with fry sauce or peanut sauce. I also use them for zucchini lasagna. You can find the recipe for that at my website, Kate's Garden, and you can find seeds for this variety at Fedco. Number 12 on the list is Lady Godiva squash. Lady Godiva is a holist pumpkin, famous for its delicious green seeds lacking the tough white hull of other squash varieties. The meat is stringy with a texture similar to spaghetti squash. We use it in spaghetti squash recipes or for livestock feed. Lady Godiva is one variety I mentioned with a longer days to maturity of 105 days. Surprisingly, it still does better than any other winter squash in my area. For me, it has been one of the best cold climate vegetable seeds. This past summer, when we had just 80 days between hard frosts, Lady Godiva outperformed more than 20 other squash varieties in my garden, with the largest pumpkin weighing in at a massive 29 and a half pounds. You can find seeds at Baker Creek. Number 13 is the mini bell pepper mix from Baker Creek. This heirloom mini bell pepper mix was so much easier to grow than a full-size bell. It originated in Ohio. Regular bell peppers are a real challenge in my garden with cold nights and a super short growing season. This mini bell pepper has red, yellow, and brown baby bell peppers ranging from one to two inches across. The small plants are great for containers. In fact, this year mine were still going at the end of the season, so I potted them up and brought them inside for fresh peppers all fall. You can find the seeds at Baker Creek. Number 14 is the Bulgarian Carrot Chili Pepper. I wouldn't recommend Bulgarian Carrot if you don't like hot. These peppers have a kick. One small pepper will liven up a huge pot of chili. We enjoy them in hot sauce or dried and ground into cayenne pepper. Bulgarian carrots have been the most reliable hot pepper for me, better than cayenne, jalapeno, or the myriad of others that I try each year. You can find seeds at Fedco. Number 15 is Red Venture Celery. Red Venture is a full-size celery. This newer open pollinated variety was a cross between the heirloom Giant Red and Ventura. Celery appreciates cool fall weather, but Red Venture really does well grown in the summer too. Since I don't get much of a fall, that's a win for me. 
Red Venture is one of the best cold climate vegetable seeds, with mature plants surviving well into the fall in my garden. The plants don't die back until we have a prolonged temperature in the single digits. You can find Red Venture seeds at Territorial Seed Company. And number 16 is the Chichi Quilite Gardenberry. Earlier this fall, I wrote an entire blog post about this unique garden berry. You can read it in my website. Chichi Quilite berries are actually a tomato relative with a super sweet flavor, excellent for snacking or for baking and jam. The plants are fast maturing and might be the fastest way there is to grow fruit in your garden. Some kinds of garden huckleberry are bland until cooked. The sweet berries I'm talking about are the Chichi Quilite huckleberry that's sold by Baker Creek. You can find the seeds at bakercreekrareseeds.com. Have you found any vegetable seed varieties that do especially well in cold climates? I'd love to hear about it in the comments.